Okay, alrighty. First thing is, as you may well know, we use mods. We use quite a few mods. And with that comes differences and things to learn. So a lot of things that we do are very, very different from vanilla armor. Um, there's a couple of new menus that you need to get used to using um, that are not usually there. Um, so the first one is AGM. That's a big changer. Um, adds in a couple of new menus and it allows us to drag things, uh, put in earplugs because there's hearing stuff now. Um, you can heal people. You can heal yourself. You can repack your own mags. You can, you know, put down explosives in a different way. You can interact with other people as well. Um, but it just enhances the experience. Now, the second mod that changes a lot of things is Task Force Arrowhead Radio, which you may have already realized. The sound is directional. You can hear me going around you. Please say if you can't hear that. Uh, okay, good. Um, Plato, 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 Plato. Yeah, that's a good example of that. <laughs> Um, if he gets too far away, then you won't be able to hear him. Ah, so if you can all press escape. Yeah, we're done. User was moved to your channel. So, um, press escape. Now go top left, AGM options. Ah, all good, man. Okay, now you have about three pages of all these things that probably mean nothing to you. So the important ones are interaction menu and interaction self. These menus allow you to bandage yourself, bandage somebody else, put earplugs in, um, tap somebody's shoulder, stuff like that. So by default, I, I think the left windows and control left windows or something like that. Um, I don't mind what they are, just make sure you bind them to something sure that you will remember. Um, that you can easily access because we use them quite often. Um, you get that? Everybody get that? Yeah. Yep. If you change to a different key, just press save. Yeah, make sure you press save. Now the other one in that menu, if you go back, the menu is rest weapon. That is default to tab. Um, I, again, I don't mind what you put it to, but that is also a very important keybind to remember, as is check ammo. Remember control R to check ammo. Because with AGM, there's no bullet counter on the top right. There's only a uh, mag counter. So if you want to check how many bullets are in your mag, you've got to press control R, uh, and it'll give you a rough um, kind of number of how many bullets are in your mag. Um. Uh, if you go to the second page of that um, that list, uh, you will see a laser target slash measure distance. Um, you need to remember that one or change it to something that you will remember um, as it's very important key binding because with AGM, um, the uh, range finders and laser designator, they do not auto tell you the range. They will not tell you any range until you press that key and then they will tell you the range. Um, so that's, you gotta remember that. Sometimes it won't tell you range. Actually no, all the time it won't tell you range, sorry. Until you press that key. And anything else, any other keys? Um, page three, that's it, no. Oh yeah, actually no, yeah, page three. Go to page three in that menu. Yeah, you're all there? Yep. Yeah. Okay, now here is a bit more um, personal customization. You can uh, show goggle effects in third person if you want to. Um, don't tick the th flow menu. Don't ever tick the flow menu. It's stupid and retarded. Um, yeah, 
Oh, it's yeah, on the true. fourth page for me. Oh, is it? The thing okay. you're talking about, yeah. yeah. It's all like the boxes that you can select. Yeah. And that kind of stuff. Yeah. yeah. Um, so what I recommend is reopen uh, medical menu after treatment. I want you want that highlighted, and unhighlight auto center cursor. Um, that would be my recommendations. And when you've done that, um, just press save, and it'll save that profile for you. Is his TFA yeah, working? Yeah, Steve's already got AGM. Oh, yeah, Steve files working, and his AGM's already done. He's already done through the keys and shit. So you've done the interaction, self-interaction, um, and rest weapon, and... Yeah, all good. Lays target slash measure distance. Those are the main ones you need to know. All right. And check ammo. Here's control R. And then clearing jam, shift R. You will notice that after a while of shooting your gun, it will eventually jam. Not every now and then. Oh, so not all the time. It is every now and then and is quite random. But there's a possibility it will jam. To clear that jam, you press control. Sorry. Correction. You press shift r to clear the jam and it will do this little reload animation right if there is no jam to clear it'll just reload but you will get the reload animation um and it, i think it should say jam cleared or something like that um then you're good to uh, fire again um you just want to see if their interactions working yeah sure they can. okay so if you press that self interaction Everybody press it. You will see self-treatment, equipment, explosives, gestures, team management, check temperature, and repack magazines. Tell me if you do not say that. I mean, see that. Yeah. You will see that? Okay, <laughs> so... You. That's good. Hi. Um, so if you look to the person next to you, and I'll just go to the end here. Press D. That means you two facing the same way, face each other. Volti and Sam. Volti and Sam face each other. So, Lol Wrecked and Sam face each other. Sam looks at Lol Wrecked and Lol Wrecked looks like Sam, yeah. Yeah, yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah. To the right, please. What? Sam, I, I'll go with SD. Okay, so you have the other interaction menu. If you do that, you will see Treat tap shoulder and join group yes yep say if no all right so okay so in this one you can also take them prisoner if you have cable ties available but we will not demonstrate that although otherwise that will go out of control pretty quickly <laughs> um that we can use that against ai as well that's very good for moving ai or hostage rescues or stuff like that you can Cable tie them. Now, there's also a shortcut for tap shoulder, which is if you press Shift T while facing at somebody, it'll tap their shoulders, and it'll say you are tapped, and it'll shake the screen. So that's very useful for letting somebody know that you're behind them and you're ready, without actually saying so. Okay. Um, okay. So that's pretty much all from AGM. AGM also modifies uh, the recoil and hearing and stuff like that weapons so, way yeah so you will actually go deaf i'll do an example <laughs> as you now see you'll have a quite irritating ear piercing net sound and you can't hear me quite as clear as you, as you could before well, okay. Right. If you had earplugs in, then it'd be right. Yeah. By default, you do not do not have earplugs in, and it'll be ringing, and it'll go quiet, quite quiet. Um. So that's the earplugs. Now to put them in, you go into self interaction and then equipment, and then it'll be in there. If you don't have earplugs, it won't be in there. Um. If you can all come over to this box on the far yeah left. far left. Um. And just go into the box. Open the box. You will see a whole bunch of items. Cable ties are there. Don't touch the cable ties. 
Um, but down the middle ish that you got the earplugs. Um, yeah, if you just take everybody take an earplug. Yeah, I need one. Yeah, I already had some. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, yeah, same. Oh, really? <laughs> okay, so yeah, if you put them in, then the interaction, the self is. interaction. Yep. And put earplugs in. Um. Then I shoot again. And you won't go deaf. Or your, your ears won't ring either. Um, Alright, so that's it for AGM, I think. If you'll move back again. Oh, you got medical system. Oh, shit, yeah, close. Okay. My bad. Go back to the pairs you were just in. Uh, in this box, so just remember those pairs. In this box, um, you'll have medical stuff. Now, if you go to the box, you will see four types of medical equipment. You have bandages, morphine, epi, and blood bags. Now, as a standard rifleman, which all of you are, you will just have eight bandages and no morphine and no epinephrine. And no blood bags. I have one morphine. Okay. So that's okay for now. Everybody just grab one morphine. And, oh, sorry, two morphine and one epi and, like, four bandages. Um, yeah, so just everybody grab that. And then return to your pairs. Yeah, if you take four morphine, you will actually overdose and die and not be able to come up again. You'll have a fit. Yeah, basically. Um, Play Doh, do you have any meds? Do you want to go with SD? Yeah, mate, yeah. Okay. Alright, so. I want Hendo to yeah, shoot I'll Jake, and Sam to shoot Lol Wrecked, and SD to shoot Play Doh. Yeah. No. Just one mind. round in the leg. <laughs> Okay, now hang on. Good photo uh, went down. Okay, yeah, come over to your patients. All right, now if you go other interaction, correct. you will see a treat button. Yeah? Yep. If you, and then, yeah, basically diagnose them. Um, and then it'll tell you in the top right what is wrong with them. Now, it is always good to read that before you do anything because it'll give you the option to do everything. Oh, shit. Um, okay, yeah, that's that's a chance of waking up. That sometimes happens. <coughs> um, but if you... Yeah, just look at that screen that it tells you, that it shows you, and tells you what's wrong with them, and then treat them accordingly. Now, it's best to treat them uh, bandage, always bandage them first, and then um, give them an epinephrine. And then once they are up, they can self-treat and self-diagnose and tell you whether they need any morphine or not. Um, it, takes yeah. a, it takes about 0 0.01 of a second to self-treat, and it takes like five or 10 to actually diagnose somebody. Oh, sorry, self-diagnose rather than diagnose. Um, so yeah depending on the situation you won't always have time to pop bandages into them sometimes it's best just to pop an epi into them and then they'll go to a corner or somewhere safe and then they'll just self-treat themselves or a starlight will come so it just dip yeah until the starlight comes so bandages will yeah. stop them bleed, bleeding until the medic comes around um, and treats them and gets them up. I can't hear you, house dog. Oh. I couldn't hear you, man. Yeah, oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so basically, you, as a rifleman, you will only have bandages. You'll have eight bandages. Um, the medic will have uh, bandages, morphine, and epinephrine, and a couple of blood bags. Um, if somebody goes down, you want to drag them using the interaction key on them. 
and you'll get an option to drag. If you can't drag them, like if you drag them for a meter and then stop, press C and you'll be able to drag them again. Just an armor bug that happens every now and then. Um, so yeah, drag them to a safer location um, and then bandage them up and then your team leader will call for a medic and they will get them up. Good advice person here. Yeah. Well, once this oh, goes up. Wait for this guy. Yeah, so make yeah. sure they're fully bandaged. Um, if you don't have to continue diagnosing, just remember where they were hit. If they were hit, if there were heavy injuries in their left leg, say, it usually requires two bandages, sometimes one, but mostly two. If it's light injuries, then it's um, one bandage um, per kind of thing. Be safe, uh, just always double check, like, you diagnose and then he diagnoses himself, just always double check because you might have bandaged but you won't get any bleeding animations and you can be running around for quite a while and then bleed. all of a sudden you'll just drop dead. Yeah. It's just come out, you've lost a lot of blood and you're still bleeding. So it's always yeah. imperative to double check. Yeah, so say you diagnose him, he's got heavy injuries in left leg and then light injuries in torso. You remember that and you give him two bandages to his left leg and one bandage to his torso. And then when you're done that, when you think you're done, just diagnose him again and check that he's not still bleeding. Because if he's still bleeding, then you'll need to bandage him again. Um, but if he's not bleeding, then just, yeah, then you're good. So always just diagnose him again at the end when you think you're done. Um, just to make sure he's not bleeding. Because no, if he does bleed... Out too. Oh, sorry, yeah. When you're unconscious, um, you can you, obviously you can still hear people, but you can't hear them. Uh, but you can't talk to them. Yeah, you can't type or talk. So you can't yell at medic or anything like that because you can't even type or anything. You can't do anything. But yeah, yeah. don't bother asking out for help. Yeah, it's not going to do anything. Um, <laughs> sometimes you can wake up um, without an APU pen. Keep that in mind. So if you do wake up. Um, you might just have to report your position and whatnot, but yeah, get into that yeah. later. Um, okay, so go back into your buddy teams. And, um, yeah, basically do the opposite. Whoever just went down, uh, shoot the other person a couple of times. Make sure they go dead. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. Synchronized falling down. Alright, so diagnose them and then bandage them first. Um, and then when you think you're done bandaging, um, re-diagnose them again and check that they're not still bleeding. Now your screen will start to go grey and you will lose colour when you've lost blood. That starts from the get-go when you start bleeding. Uh, and the more blood you lose, the greyer everything gets. Um, and when you get below a certain amount of blood, which I don't actually know what the value is, um, yeah, but when you start out. saying, um, yeah, when you start saying you've lost a lot of blood rather than just you've lost some blood, um, then you start randomly passing out. That's when you actually need a blood bag from a medic. Um, otherwise, you will continuously pass out. Even if you've, even if you're fully bandaged, you will still pass out if you lost too much blood. Yeah, just remember that you remember to bandage them up, what diagnose them, bandage. Oh yeah, if you're um, if you have multiple people treating somebody, bandage. Um, make sure you say what you're bandaging. So say like bandaging left leg. That way someone can bandage another part. Otherwise, it'll just bandage the same thing twice, which won't do anything. If they're from two different people, um, so let people know what you're doing to them. As a roughman, you'll only have bandages, so you can only actually bandage them. But yeah, if you have multiple people, then just say what you're bandaging. So other people don't bandage the same thing as there you. There you go. You should be right. Thank you. And yeah. So when you have a medic, they'll hopefully, you'll hopefully be fully bandaged, um, and they'll just give you an epinephrine. Then you will wake up, but your screen. Huh? And bandages it. Yeah. What? The 
a standard rifle. Injured, a heavily injured limb. Well, yeah, we've already been through that bus, so. Have we? <coughs> if rifleman only has bandages, how many? Oh, sorry. Eight, oh, eight bandages, dude. Eight bandages. Eight bandages. Eight bandages. Yeah. So no morphine yeah, in the limb. Yes. Yeah, we're but more bandages because there's multiple limbs and stuff there to bandage. Can you self-diagnose, Sam? Uh, yeah, I just need morphine, I think. Um, so morphine die. will be administering, um... Every standard rifleman gets a standard issue first aid kit, which usually just consists of eight bandages. Yeah. So, uh, medic will give you epinephrine and wake you up. When you wake up, um, just go self-treatment and diagnose and diagnose yourself and tell him how much pain you're in and if you're on any painkillers. Um, that way he can, it saves him actually diagnosing you because it's quicker for you to diagnose yeah. yourself and then he can just give you morphine straight away. Um, yeah. I can't bandage my right arm yet it's injured and I'm bleeding. Yeah, are you out of bandages? Uh, are you out of bandages? Uh, again. I tried it when I got it, when I got some. Uh, let's have a look at ya. Uh, when if somebody is up, you'll get, you don't have to b diagnose them, you still get the options, but always diagnose somebody when they're up. Um, because unless they can tell oh, you where I'm they're injured. Fear. I'm just having I'm a seizure. <laughs> <laughs> That's why um, we have too much morphine, you die. That was I'm not gonna lie, I had to inject himself a bunch of times and didn't say anything. I don't think there's a respawn thing on this, so have fun with that. <laughs> you are kiss link. Alright, uh, anyways. Uh, anyways, back back. Uh, Alright, yeah. uh, you're damaged. You should be right now. Oh, thank you. Bandage yourself again. Alright. Uh, yeah, so if you're treating yeah, somebody else, you're bandaging somebody else when they're up, um, just ask him, oh, where, you ba um, where are you damaged? You know, where are you hit? So. It saves you the time of diagnosing them, and then they can tell you where they're hit, and after you bandage them, tell them the next place, whatever. So make sure you do that, um, and ask for that. And I think that is it for AGM. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty much. Also, when you're on drugs like morphine, your screen can be blurry. If you're in heavy pain with that morphine, it's worse. Like you can't see shit. You'll see five of everything. Yeah, yeah so it does go weird. Just keep that in mind. So if you're seeing yeah. weird shit, obviously you're in pain or in too much drugs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's a problem. Um communication is vital <laughs> when using uh, <laughs> when using medical supplies, communication is very vital. So you tell someone or your fire team, Oh, I've been hit because well, you cannot leave yourself bleeding for too long or then that's just gonna put a shit Low pressure on yourself and others around you. If you've been hit but not bleeding, but just under morphine, just leave it. Just l let it go for a bit. Oh, but I think that's later in um, formations, shit, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Uh, if you all come over here, and uh, this box that I'm facing, that I'm standing on top of, um, grab an ANPRC one five two out of that box. Don't get the other one. And yeah, put it in your guys. radio slot, if you haven't already. So just make sure you got one on you, not multiple, just one. Yeah. Well, come stand over at Evans mm -hmm. when you're done. Okay. Uh, they don't have to do keys for that, do they? Or is it already set? Uh, it's like okay. The default yeah. is like the lobby you yeah. always use. Yeah. Yep. Okay, so... Mm -hmm. Oh, wait. Tell them about the yelling thing shit first. Oh, yeah. Okay, so if you press control tab, it'll change your voice volume. Now, it won't actually, it won't actually change how loud you are. It'll just change how far you can be heard can hear from. someone. Now, yeah. um... We always go on normal unless you really need to yell at somebody, like across a compound, <laughs> then change to yelling. But if you're not doing that, then always mm. be on normal. Um, otherwise, it'll get really, really messy and really, really confusing. 
especially uh, in talking. convoy ops always oh, yes. it's imperative to be whispering or normal because like yeah because the gunner can you know, talk outside yeah yeah carries yeah because when you're inside so, a vehicle the direct thing everyone inside the vehicle can hear already hear you fine no matter if you're yelling whisper or not whatnot yeah so yeah just mm. as a, a rule unless you really need to yell at somebody keep it on normal otherwise it just gets very confusing um, if you all have the radio, press Control P. Left Control P. Oh no. Let me Control P. <laughs> yeah? yeah. Is that person not there? Jake, you there? It's not working for me. Uh, uh, go to your inventory. Press I. Or however you bring up your inventory. The channel. Yeah, yeah. Is there a radio there down the bottom? AM PLC one five two. Yeah, control P. Left control P. Alright, okay. Right, go, press escape. Can you take okay. him over? Yeah, I'll take him over here. Yeah. Oh, Jack, that go here, mate. Oh. Okay. And right. So if you press control P. You will see a radio, a green radio that comes up. How's on? Go back to normal, dude. Um, yeah, everybody see the radio? Yep. Yeah. Alright, if you click on highlight it, the number, you can type in on your numpad a frequency. Um, so just type in, say, 500. Zero, zero. And then click the ENT button on the radio near the right hand side. If you hover over that, it'll say set frequency. Now that'll set that. If you go to the top, you will see three stick things. One which is humongously long. If you go to That's the middle one. It's not letting one, me set 500. Zero, zero. Yeah, if you press five zero zero, and then press the it ENT, won't click. it won't click. Nah, like it's clicking zero, but it's not clicking on any other button. Oh no no no, no! You type in on your numpad, dude. You don't click the things. All right. You yeah, highlight it. The numbers in there, backspace it, whatever, yeah. like a normal text. Yeah, on your numpad, and then press ENT to set frequency. Um, okay, so when you've done that, if you want to change channel, you can press the pre, up, and plus, and minus to change channel. Um, for you guys, you'll only need to use channel one ever. Uh, if you press the zero button, it'll change the radio, what you're listening to, from left to right and both ears. It'll tell you down the bottom right the volume and which ear it's coming through. Same. Hey, um, those blue things. Yeah. Um, later, can you go through how to change volume with the knob on the top in the middle? Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, so if you open it back up again, um, the top middle stick, set, you highlight it, has decrease, increase volume. Left click, decreases, right click, increases. And it comes to the right hand corner what volume it's on. I think default's 80. Um, channels, don't worry about. Speakers, um, you want to keep that on headphones. Sometimes a team leader might, something might have it on speakers, meaning that if someone's talking to them through the radio, it will be like a speaker, so everyone else around you can hear it. So you want to keep that on headphones, though, that way it's only you can hear it. Um, Yep, so stereo, you can have that on whatever you want, left, right, middle, both, whatever. Um, yeah, so everyone's on 500? On 500. C1 yep. 500, everyone's on that? Alright, so if yep. you hold caps lock in, you would start transmitting. That's a cluster one. Alright, too slow, that's fine. Alright, um, hand already knows. Sam? Yo. Yeah. SD? Testing. 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 Yep. 
Um, low racket. Testing. Yep. So you could all he hear each other through the radio. Yep. Yeah. Well, you should be able to. Yeah. Cause yeah. I could. Yeah. That's sweet. That's the radio's working. We get these keys set up. Um, I don't think there's anything else that will talk about the fucking radio. Don't worry about additional channel shit, that gets really confusing. I'll tell you about that later. Um, that's all good. No, it'd be RB. Get the kids ready. Alright, um, so who wants to do ADF stuff? Okay, let's have ADF guys over here, BAF guys stay there. Alright, so we've got three I'm ADF on BAF. No, I'm not going to Oh, no, it's fine. No, it's fine. That is completely fine. This is fine. I'm just going to give you the equipment, that's all. What's this? Oh, no difference. The preference thing. Are we splitting right, up ADF and BAF? Or preference? No, I'm just getting the equipment ready, that's all. Yeah. Alright. Alright, so here I'll do Hendo first. Stand by, guys. Yes. Alright, I'm in. Alright, Hendo, save that. Yeah, do it again. And who's this? Sam. Alright, Sam, save that. Load it up. Um, Jake. Oh, hang on. Oh, Jake, are you going to do ADF or BAF, mate? Um, I'll do ADF. Alright. Which one? Good. Yep, so get the, can you get the BAF gear out for the other two guys? Oh, my, I don't know, Um, I don't know, whoever the hell it was. Oh, was it Jake? All right, so save that, Jake, load it up. Sorry, which one? Uh, what's yeah, sure. oh. Are you uh, the I don't, I don't think I have it. Oh, okay, that's right, I'll do it again. Can you open oh, the version ammo box? What's that? So it's still loading for him or something. Alright, you get that one, Sam? Or? Yeah, I got it. Yeah. Right, so save it. Um, once you got it, um, save it again in the virtual arsenal. Once you get your equipment, guys, save it in the virtual arsenal as well. Uh, what, 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 what? How do you save it in the virtual arsenal? Uh, you have virtual arsenal, look down the bottom, it'll say save. Right. And you have tuck the name down for it and then save. Does everybody get that? What? You, you gotta get um S D and Law Racket BAF stuff, man. Don't you have that? You have that. Yeah, what the fuck? Um, SD. Uh, I don't think I've got it. Ah, don't think I've got it. Hey, on, hang on. So, try right, one more time. Drop the gun. On Australian, mate. Okay. <laughs> you guys get that? Alright, so is it. Will the menu come uh, up there, yeah, Sam? Uh, yeah, and you just press yes, right? Yeah, say, say yes. So, um, then you've got a save menu. Make sure you save it, though. Yeah. You saved it? Yep. Alright, now yeah, go into virtual arsenal. Alright, now load it. Virtual ammo box. Uh, how do you open it? What's it do that for? Now look at the box. It's over here, mate. Oh, okay. these things are over. And look at it. And then... Um, yeah, go virtual yeah, ammo box. Yeah. Then go load gear. And then whatever slot you just saved that on, just load it up. Yeah. Yeah. 
Elliot. Oh, Elliot. Elliot. Yeah, they'll save, save that in your virtual arsenal as well. Yeah. You guys know how to do that. Yeah, I'm doing it now. Yeah, you can do that as well, Lol. Um, Lolzy. Save your loadout in Arsenal. Yeah, yeah I did that. Oh, Alright, so, yep. Yeah. Yep, yeah, so make yeah, sure you yeah. stop saving virtual Arsenal as well, guys. Go of that. Yeah, so. Yeah, they all talked to 500. Yep. I don't know if it's the same one because they loaded up a oh. thing. SD? Yeah. Is it you that I was talking to? Is that right here? Uh, not Jake. Ah, uh, that was me. Jake. Yeah. Um, yeah, to talk on the radio, it's caps. Talk. On Hold the radio. up. Yeah. And then, uh, left, guys, oh, yeah. Everybody. Left control P. And make sure you're in channel 1, 500, then set frequency. And once you've done that, you want to test it out. Say your name. Yeah. Check. Yep. Check. Yep. Check. Let's do. Yep. Sam, say yours again, please. Check. Yeah, copy. Cool. Right, so make sure you hold it down for about half a second um, for after you finish um, what you're saying. So it can actually transmit because if you let go yeah. just as you finish saying it, um, it'll cut it off. Something I've learned totally. Um, so just remember that. Um, should we do um, next? equipment? Just have a look at their equipment. Yeah. Okay. Um, all right. So if you go I or what if you um, press for your equipment. Yeah, so you've got the standard BAF or ADF Rossman kit. Yeah, this, this is, is the basic kit, the most basic kit that everybody needs to know how to uh, operate. So your gun will be uh, a Steyr or an L85 and uh, whatever you are with. Um, you also have Law or an RPG-18, call it a Law. Um, that is a disposable light anti-tank launcher. Um, in game, it's not actually disposable, but we take it on as if, if it is. So when you shoot it, after you shoot it, just go into your inventory and just drop the whole tube. Um, that's the best way of doing it. Um, in your backpack, you will see you have 200 round 249 tracer belts. Now, that is for the automatic rifleman who has a, um, an L110 or a version of the Minimi. Um, he burns through a lot of ammo and is used for suppressing fire on the enemy. Um, and part of the rifleman job is to carry extra ammo for him. Um, so that's why you have an extra 600 rounds for him. Uh, if you go in your vest, you'll see an assortment of throwable items. Um, you should have earplugs somewhere in your kit. In your vest, you will have two frag grenades, um, two blue smokes, two flashbangs, a white flare, two red chem lights, and two blue chem lights. Now, frags are pretty self-explanatory. Chuck it if, you know, somebody behind a building or you know, over a wall or over a little bit of defile, whatever. Uh, um, yeah. 
Um, then you have flashbangs. Oh. Yeah, so I'm kicked off for ping too high. Um, so yeah, got your flashbangs there. We'll only use that if we're clearing buildings. Only one person throws the flashbang at a time. Your team leader will say what, who, where. Um, that will basically just incapacitate the enemy. It does work on the AI. If you go in, they'll be sh fucking really like scratching their eyes or some shit. But yeah, uh, yeah. standing still doing some shit. They do an animation where they yeah. fall to the ground on one knee. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, so you can basically do that. Um, you can flash yourself, so watch out. We'll yeah. Bear with Flashing them. maxes your fatigue, by the way. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, also, if you hold left control and G, you will have a different um, grenades um, cycle menu there. If it doesn't come up, you can press six and seven. Seven is for miscellaneous grenades. Six is for frags and flashbangs. So if your left control G isn't working, you can still cycle through your seven and six. Yeah. You have to press six um, or seven yep. first to load a grenade, though. Um, yeah. Keep going. Um, okay, so um, so in your kit, I think you'll have blue smoke that is, yeah, blue smoke we use as cover. Um, you know, if we're under heavy fire or whatever, or if we're moving, um, just pop some blue smoke um, that we can use as cover from the AI. Uh, we use blue for cover because the enemy typically use white. Um, and it's just to differentiate between uh, the enemy and our friendly smoke. Um, team leaders will have green and red smoke as well. Now, the red smoke is used to mark um, enemy locations for um, attacks yes. from like a, a, you know, a cast kind of asset or a, a heavier asset, like a vehicle or something like that. Um, and green is marked for friendlies when that is happening. Um, it also is used for extract. Um, so standard riflemen will just have two blue smokes. Uh, feel free to add a couple more blue smokes if you wish. Um, but that is just the standard type blue, two blue, sorry. Um, and yeah, make sure you're using that. If you, know, you come under contact, just pop a smoke and it'll actually help a lot, even against the air. Um, okay. all right. What? What type of flag do they have? They've got the um, offensive or defensive one? The big, the actual frag one. The big oh, one. Sweet. Yeah. So, oh yeah, be aware with the frags. You can... Oh, Jesus. Don't do a robot thing. That can okay. <laughs> I just run. <laughs> Except for him. Well, um, so yeah, <laughs> okay. The red and blue chemites, they are for nighttime operations. Uh, you can actually attach them to yourself if you uh, wish. Uh, it can yeah, be pretty useful. Self interact, you'll see um, equipment, equipment, and you'll, you'll see attach item, and you can attach either an IR grenade or a chemite to yourself. No. Yeah. Um, you'll notice you have a rangefinder on you, I'm pretty sure. Just press B, bring it up, standard. Now, everyone pull their um, range finders. Everyone set? All right, now, if you look down, you'll see how the ra there's no range coming up. If you press tab, it'll update to where you're pointing. So you look at the red car, 200 meters, white car, 100 meters. So you press tab to update it. Just keep that in mind for later, guys. Wait. Okay. Next thing will be to use your laws. Now, with AGM, there is now backblast. Um, so if you put them away for now, please. I want somebody to miss my <laughs> Just in case. If I was standing you behind here, standing. about here, or closer, when you shot, you would actually kill me from the backblast, which is very or realistic. Or at least hurt him. Or at least yeah. hurt him. Yeah. Yeah. So when we are shooting, um, any kind of anti-tank launcher, even these light ones. Um, 
need to um, ask or announce um, Black Blast Clear. Or Clear, sorry, Clear Black Blast. Black Blast. Um, and then if it's all clear, somebody will say Black Blast Clear. And then when you're firing, say firing. Um, never fire a rocket without saying Clear Black Blast. And never fire until somebody has said Black Blast Clear. Well, you can visually see and check and have checked multiple times that there is nobody anywhere near you, behind you. If they're beside you, that is completely fine, as long as they're nowhere near behind you. They have to be probably 20 or more meters for them to not get hurt. Yes. So back blast doesn't just hurt um, other people. It can also hurt you. If you're, even if you're like 10 meters away from a building and you shoot a rocket, you can actually injure yourself from the back blast. So make sure that you, behind you, um, in a, a decent cone, uh, maybe like a 60 degree cone behind your uh, launcher is clear of any objects or solid objects such as buildings or people before you shoot your, an your anti-tank launcher. Um, also, before you shoot your launcher, make sure you have earplugs in. Otherwise, you'll deafen yourself and everybody around you. Um, if you deafen people around you, that's not really your fault, that's their fault. But if you hurt people around you, then it's both your fault. Um, so, yeah. So it's common sense that when somebody says um, back blast clear and another person says firing, that you do not go behind that person who's firing or anywhere near the rear of that person who's firing. The way I like to do it is you just don't move if they're firing and then until they're fired. So yeah, key things to remember when you're gonna shoot something, make sure you have a range on what you're ever shooting at. These things are sh effective on stationary targets up to about 200 meters and moving about 100 meters. <laughs> now, um, moving targets are always harder to hit than stationary targets. Obviously that just takes practice to hit them. Um, but yeah. Uh, try and be station, um, effective up to 200 meters while stationary. That's not very far, but these things have some weird ass ballistics. Um, so, yeah. All right. And I guess we'll get into shooting them. So, you'll notice that you only have one rocket on you. That's how it'll be. Um, you won't ever have more than one rocket in the tube or in your backpack because after you shoot it, you drop it on the ground. Uh, that's how these launches work. Um, oh. So, yeah. Uh, you're all right. Go. All right, I'm just coming over here. Come over here, dude. Right, okay. So if you all pull out your launches and crouch, make sure you close the range. Nope. Yeah, Sam. Nope. Sam is in connection. Oh, there we go, he's back. Yeah, I'm here. Uh, everyone's set. All right, okay, so... Holy crap, this looks sick. <laughs> um, all right, so if you aim down your sights, you will see a 5, 10, and a 15, and a 20. Yeah. Tell me if you don't see that. Okay, so... In real life, I am pretty certain that the five is meant to be 50 meters, 100, 100 meters, sorry, 10, 100 meters, 15 is 150 meters, and 20 is 200 meters. Now, in game, this is not so. If you shoot at 50 meters, you will literally hit the ground about 10 meters in front of you or five meters in front of you and potentially kill yourself. Now, there's, so the trick with aiming with these is you take the 15 mark and the red triangle just above the 15 mark. You all see that red triangle? Yep. Yep. The now base of the red triangle. Yeah, if you put that, the, like the base of the red triangle on the middle of your target at 50 meters, you will hit bang on. Um, if you put the middle of your triangle about two thirds of the way up uh, your target at 100 meters, you will hit pretty much bang on. Now, 150 and 200 is a bit harder. 
you have to have the word like or the drawing of 15 pretty much the middle of the 15 is the middle of the car this is hard because you won't actually be able to see the car but if you can try and get a visual on the car if you put it to the side and put the 15 in line with it the car or the target sideways and then move it across possibly one of the easiest ways to do it um, at 150 meters that will hit and at 200 meters Excuse me, 200 meters, that will hit as well. Um, that is the weird ballistics of this launcher. There is a drop between Gosh. 100 meters and 150 meters. Yeah. Um, we'll should we get to, to hit the... Um, Hang on, uh, dude, we'll do two at a time, man. We'll do two at a time for 50 meters. 50. Okay. 50 meters, yeah. 50, yeah. 100, 150, 200. Uh. Okay, um... These two people on the far right here. Uh, I stay. Everybody else, come over to the right here. And stay. Yeah, just stay around here. Don't. Where you're standing, you'll possibly get hit by so. So just, yeah, move over there. Is that everybody? Mm. Alright, so this red car is 50 meters away. So if you have your launcher, it'll be the base line of the red triangle above the 15 mark is about the middle of the um, middle of the car. Okay, so for firing, you want to say uh, clear back blast, so Hendo. And then I will visually, somebody else will visually confirm if there are no friendlies in the back blast. If I was standing here, I would get told to move the hell out of the way. And then say, there's nobody there. I'll say, back blast clear. And then if he's going to fire, he'll say firing. And then he won't fire. So, yeah. <laughs> Um, the red triangle, the um, bottom line for the triangles, did you say it was of the red triangle above 15, 15 is for the, the middle base of the, car. of the triangle. Yeah. Oh, okay. So we'll go through the, the, the triangle. Um, yeah. Go through the whole procedure for Hendo. So you yep. acquire a target. Yeah, yeah, not yet, but um, so yeah, so Do you I acquire a target 50 meters away, um, and go. Let him move the hell away. Back blast area is clear. Yeah. That <laughs> was a good hit. No, that was a good hit. Uh, yeah, just note these are indestructible on purpose. <laughs> I think these, that could have gone about uh, a meter higher, like on the actual target, I think. Ah, uh, well, I was about to say. Could have gone pos possibly a bit higher. Um, but yeah. That's how you do it. Yep, so, so just dump it. Yeah, just dump Wait. it on the ground. All right, do the same for Sam. Clear back blast. Back blast area is clear. Firing. That was good hit, good hit. All right. Actually threw it back. Did it? Yeah, it moved your fucking vehicle back a little bit. Well, it's moved like three meters out. Holy crap. <laughs> Okay, that's interesting. Okay. Right, so who's next? The hand okay, can I get next two? Um, Jake and... Um, who we got? Jake and Basso? Basso? Yeah, hold on. Oh, yeah. Alright, if you line up both on this side, both on next to each other here. Alright, uh, Jake, you're first. So you've acquired a target that's 50 meters away. Clear back um, blast. Back blast area is clear. Fine. That was like square in the middle. And then, yeah, just drop it. All right, sick. Uh, Basso? Oh, nice hit. You've acquired clear a target. Clear back blast. Clear back blast. Good, move, better. Yep, 
Back blast area is clear. That wasn't quite on target. What the fuck was that? <laughs> Pretty good shot. <laughs> <laughs> I've been practicing. <laughs> Okay. Anyway, um, next two up, that's SD and uh, low left, I think. That was some um, very nice shooting there, Bessie. I am very impressed. Believe it or not, I am the marksman for this. So when you're firing these things, um, just come down. Here. Don't go down. Uh, when you're firing, you always want to, always want to fire from a crouched position because in real life these things can have a bit of kick um, and you're a lot more stable when you're in a crouch position. Um, so yeah. Okay. All right, low wrecked you first. You have target, 50 meters, uh, red car. Clear, back blast. Back blast area is clear. Firing. And then just go in your inventory and then just drop the puppy. Okay. Just note, you don't have to drop it right in the spot, but it's kind of pointless having that extra weight on you because it will slow, slow you down. And it'll make you think that you have a rocket. Right. That too. Um, yeah, okay. Uh, SD. Target, 50 meters, uh, red car. Clear back loss. Back past area is clear. Firing. Pretty sure that was a good hit. Alright, and then, yeah. Okay, so that is the basics on using any anti tank launcher. Um, it doesn't just go for this yeah, one, you always have to go through that procedure when you're firing any anti tank launcher. Otherwise, you'll either hurt yourself or hurt somebody else. Now, if you're inside a building, don't shoot it, otherwise, you can probably kill yourself. Um, so. I'm not always going to be there as a person saying back blast area clear or 50 meter target, red car. Um, anybody who was around at the time uh, will be able to say that. You know, so if Plato was there at the time or if, you know, Basso was over here, you know, he hears him saying, you know, um, he, want, he pulls out his anti tank launcher, he, Basso gives him just a, a rough range. And then he goes, you know, clear back blast. And then Basso from over here you can see that his back blast area is clear. So he just yells, back blast area clear. And then the guy says firing. So anybody can really say it, um, but make sure that you do go through that procedure. Um, yeah. And if you all um, load up your kits again, get another uh, law on you, or we'll go through that same kind of thing, just very quickly uh, put you into pairs and you can go have a go at the 100 meter targets and further right. all right so low wrecked and sd go together because they're british uh jake and sam will go together and hendo you'll be with me all right, so if you line up on this second one, um, actually, yeah, just, yeah. Um, Ball rush, go there, yeah. And Hendo, over here, on my left. All right, so. Okay, so yeah, the left out of the two, don't have your launcher up just yet. Um, you're gonna you're gonna check his back blast for the for the person who's shooting and give him a range as well. All right, so uh, we're engaging the white car, uh, the right off road to the left of the red one. All right, SD and all, all wrecked, you are first. White uh, car at 100 meters. Uh, black, uh, fuck. Actually, Another okay, so. Part. Hold, hold, sorry. I did one thing slightly wrong. Um, when you give uh, a range and a description of the target, also give a like a bearing or a direction. So like that'll be southwest or bearing two, three, zero. So it'll be like, um, you know, 
contact white car bearing 230, 100 meters, um, so they know which way to face. Um, yeah. All right, so you can also this. see the direction on your GPS. Yeah, or your rangefinder as well, I think it's called. Okay, so do I get or am I just... Yeah, no, go again, SD. Contact white car bearing 230, 100 meters. Check black back blast. Back blast area clear. Firing. Good hit, good hit. Right, we'll come back to you two. It's good. Um, Sam and uh, Jake. Uh, go ahead, Jake. Or Sam. Contact white car 100 meters out. Uh, uh, two. Three zero. Clear back blast. Deck blast clear. Fire. That was a good hit, good hit, good hit. Uh, Fucking um, lifted it. What's the range on that now, Hemo? What's the range on the white car? 102. Oh. Ah, <laughs> oh, there we go. Oh, bang on one of Alright. Uh, go ahead, Hendo. Cool target, Hendo. Yeah. Cool target, Hendo. No, okay, right. Thank you for that example, Plato. I'm sure you didn't do that on purpose. <laughs> it was a little bit short, like five um, meters. So that would be an example of ineffective hit. Ineffective. Or, um, you know, like no effect on target or ineffective, yeah, basically. So basically, whoever's spotting, or if the guy is shooting the RPG by himself with no one spotting, he'll say target down or target missed. Um, so yeah, if you have like, you know, in your fire team, if you have somebody spotting, like your team leader or your somebody else spotting for you, um, they um, should give you um, an example, well, sorry, like a, a kind of like a video where you hit the target, like whether it was a good hit, good hit, or a, or a miss, miss, or um, no joy. Um, so yeah, make sure you call that out after to see if you need somebody else to re-engage or whether you've eliminated the target. Uh, can I get you guys to switch over? So people on the left have the laws, people on the right are spotting. And we'll go through again. Jump, jump, same order? Yep, same order. Starting with um, Lovett and SD. White car bearing two two, a white truck bearing two two nine, distance one hundred and one meters. Check back blast. Back blast isn't clear. One Fire. second. Back blast clear. Firing. Hit. Right. If the back blast isn't clear. Just tell people to move the hell out of the way because maybe they're facing the other direction. They have no idea. Somebody's trying to shoot something. Uh, just say, move out of the way or, you know, yeah. Say that aim or something. Out of the way. Clear back yeah. blast. Yep. Um, all right. Jake, go ahead. White car bearing 227, range 100 meters. Clear back blast. Uh, move out of back blast, please. Yeah, just make sure you say my name, though. Like, so, Plato, Plato clear back blast. Copy that. Back blast clear. Uh, just make sure you're saying firing before you fire. Uh, I missed. Oh, you didn't read your main comment. That was a miss? Okay. Um, alright. <coughs> Go ahead, um, Plato. Alright. White truck, bearing 225 degrees, 100 meters. What?
Negative. 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 Hundred meters? No, it's still at the bottom of the red triangle, dude. Aren't you supposed to aim on the fifteen for a hundred? But you went short anyway. Or an over. All right. Well, um, so that's kind of how you hit shit with that. Um, does anybody want to try that again? Hitting the target hundred meters. All right. Uh, let up your shit again. Somebody you else. You got fire again. Let up your gear. If not, it's cool. Yeah. Sam, did you miss? Is it Sam? Yeah. yeah. Um, Sam and Hendo, I'm going to pay you guys up and you're going to have another try. Oh, Bass is on it. Okay. Alright, just Best go to this middle one. Um, go ahead, run ready. Let's start from. Who's going? These guys. Oh, I'll be back. Um. Wait, so just again. Yeah. Oh, uh, not the fifth. Oh, I know that the bottom of the fifteen <laughs> under the base of the red triangle. Fuck, why did I? User was that? moved to your channel. Alright, so you ready? Alright, so Sam, you call it? Alright, come you to it. 100 meters out, 227. Alright, get out of the back yeah. boss. Alright, copy that. Back boss clear. Who's going? Sam, you going? Yep. yep. Alright, so Hendo, call it. That goes clear. Use three um, formations. They are wedge, line, and column. Who wants to try and hit it with this? No. Either way. Um, you have no hope of hitting that. Okay, so who knows what any of those are? So a line is similar to what you're in now. So if you line up in a line, face like well, you know, kind of shoulder to shoulder almost with a bit of spread. So that's um, yeah, that's a basic line. Now you'd normally be a bit spread more spread out than that, probably at least About kind of three meters. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. Good. Like that. So that is your, that's your line formation. Um, you also have a column formation, which is how we line up when before we're starting it off, how we line up when we're briefing or getting into a chopper. Now that is one person behind each other, like 
Just throw an example here, Fighter and Evans. Yeah, what? Go behind me. Please. Anyone? Just uh, mine. I mean, sorry, Colin. Alright. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, shit. Nice. <laughs> um, yeah. Good job, people. Right. That is the, um, the column. Um, now, yep. the most complex sorry. of all those three. Um, what the hell? Delta. Is the wedge. Now, wedge can have two, um, kind of sides to it. Which can be called by whoever's leading the wedge. Now that is generally your team leader. Wait, so wait, wait. In a fire team, you have four people. So if I can get um, three other people on me. I'll still need to put your uh, order. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, okay, um, alright, uh, can I have one person? Just, yeah. Cool. Alright, so, now Wedge is very much determined by which side the auto is on. Now, if I'm facing this way, if I go Wedge, auto left, that means my auto is on my left, and then everybody else is in the same kind of way on my right. So, a little bit. And they go on the right. If you go on the other side of Sam. Yeah. Right, like over here, bro. Uh, back like right like yeah. Yeah, where where Evans is standing. Alright. Can you all hear me? Yeah. Yeah. Alright, so that is your basic wedge. And that's auto left. If I say wedge auto right, that means Auto was swap sides. Um, Sam, come a bit further in to the your right. And then everybody else will swap sides. Now, we will always have wedges in um, within fire teams, so it'll be four people. If there is ever more than four people, the auto. A bit loose. Got um. Evans, what? What do you think about spread? Probably want to keep it like three to five meters. Is that right? Spread, yeah. Do I get three Um, no, that's right. Like if you get stretch a team leader like here, like this, like right there. No, that's good, like that. Yeah. Okay. Um, just that people in right here just got to cut back in a bit. No, in, in, not out, in. Yeah, you too, Hendo. No, that's good, Sam. Hendo. I'm on a bit base there. And then, yeah, Bassey, you're right. Like, like that. Yeah. Too much, is just. Yeah. Just yeah, stand so wedge. Yeah. Alright, cool. Good job, people. Um, we go through the, the covering sectors part. Over here. So you stand here. Okay. Like yeah, yeah. Where the, right, we'll do that in a sec. Right. Yeah. Oh, actually, no, yeah, we'll do it with the new stuff. Alright, so. Um, you'll be the team lead, yeah. Okay, so within a wedge formation, you each person watches a separate direction. So your team leader is always watching your front. And now your your second person here, which will probably be uh, your uh, rifleman or your marksman, yeah. um, watches that kind of direction uh, to the front left and left. And Hendo, you watch to the the left and the kind of like rear left, and as back as you kind of can. And then the auto has the um, the whole right side and going past.
partially behind as well. Um, that's obviously the sides that you cover are dependent Oops, on that way, mate. which side the auto is on. If the auto is on the other side, then you watch the same kind of direction, just flipped over. So Hendo, if you're watching a little bit more back, so like where I'm facing kind of thing. Yeah, so yeah. Um, auto has the largest kind of field to cover because there is only one on his side. But this is key. Whenever the um, team lead stops or whoever is leading the wedge stops, um, doesn't matter if there's a reason or not. He may just do it just to test you guys out. But for whatever reason that he stops, you automatically go into um, that, uh, that kind of direction yes. of looking. Yeah. So just if he stops, he'll probably stop and take an E. And you guys take an E and start watching your sectors. Now that is your sector within the um, the wedge. Um, again, the team leader does not have to say hold or that it, they are stopping or that he is stopping. You just got to keep your eyes on him every now and then. And if he stops, then you stop and just cover your sectors. Um, I'll do the I'll do the 360 concept when we all got everybody. Yeah. 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 Um, so yeah. Uh, did you do covering sectors? Oh, okay. So low wrecked in this situation would be your auto. So he's got the lighter sector, is that kind of area to the right. That one, and possibly Jake is your left and to the rear as well. So you gotta be watching your rear as well. Um, yep, that looks good. All right. If we uh, just go to the middle on me, have a quick chat about 360. He's a pretty good rapper. Is what? Shit. No, you're probably a Cursor fan. Uh, no, 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 no. More like just uh, sure, Shut up. Oh, shut yeah. up. Okay. Um, we use a concept that is called 360, where he's not a freaking rapper. Um, and that is covering sectors, um, which whenever. So when we're getting out of a vehicle, whether it be land or air or sea or just stationary, even if we're not in formation, we need to employ the 360 uh, strategy. Now 360 basically means we are watching every direction and each person is watching a different direction. So um, if I just say 360 on this pause, um, can I get you all watching different direction? Okay, so you all need to be watching a different direction. Right now I have like four people watching the same direction. Now with the 360, you want to be spread out a bit, keep that space in. Yeah. So I want somebody watching my southwest, my northwest, northeast, southeast, all that kind of stuff. And or call just, it out. Call yeah. it out what direction you're facing all the time. I got west. North. Make sure, yeah, make sure you say your name first. Yeah, say so your name, yeah. Yeah, so it's like, Hendo got southeast. But, but that'll be over your radio on um, your fire team radio. But whichever sector you have. So right now, this looks, yeah, that's pretty good. Um, so as soon as I say 360, or somebody else says 360, um, probably best to um, take a knee, crouch, and get pick a direction and then watch it within like a kind of you know 45 degree 60 degree kind of angle and then state which direction you're watching on your fire team radio <coughs> uh, when we get out of a vehicle it's same concept but sorry, you move away from the vehicle so if we um if we had a vehicle just here so had a vehicle, we'd um, all move out like we are, maybe, yeah, that's about a good distance, I think, um, away from the vehicle, and then go to 360. If we're um, around, uh, like, a helicopter or something, God. it's a lot further away. Oh, yeah. 
Now you, um, just come back in. Yeah, so you want to be at least 10, 15 meters away from the chopper. Um, when doing fast rope inserts, it's the same thing. When you hit the deck, you, you know, you run. Um, how strong covering north? <laughs> no, you just run a bit, hit the deck or crouch and say what you're covering. So you don't want to be in the way of whoever's fast roping or be in the way of somebody potentially getting out of the chopper or be in the way of the chopper. So you want to be away from the chopper before you stop moving and get your 360 on. Um, so I don't want to have to say 360 or I don't want anybody to have to say 360 or um, that I want 360. All round. Um, I just want it to be automatic. I know that like, I expect it to not be automatic at the start as we have quite a few new people here. Um, we will keep on saying 360, but it'll be best to have it to be automatic. Um, you will get it; to, it'll become automatic the more you use it. Um, so, you know, as soon as we get out of the vehicle, or as soon as we stop moving, or whatever, or capture like a little position, or you know, even if you're just looking at targets, you don't want everybody pointing their guns looking at the targets. Um, you want other people watching your, you know, your left and your right and your rear and all that, so you don't get flanked. Because if everybody's watching the targets and shooting at the targets, get then flanked. you can quite easily get flanked or just pummeled in the ass, pretty much. So you always want to have the main um, main number of guys watching the front, but you want to have people scanning around to your sides and somebody watching the rear as well. Um, yeah. Can I run them through my 11 rules of combat? Oh, oh God. Yes, mate, I thought of all this, all right. <coughs> Gather in, take a knee. This here is what I like to call my 11 rules of combat, which is vital to your survival on the battlefield at all times, no matter what the fuck you're doing. <coughs> First rule, which is pretty decent, do not get shot. Stay out of the open and use cover at all times. Pretty self-explanatory. Two, short controlled burst. Shooting automatically at ranges is generally a bad idea because you will be inaccurate and you will not hit your target. Shoot semi-automatically at long ranges, but burst or fully, full, fully automatic at low ranges. Number three, be proud you're a JCTF member. It is a goddamn honor. Four, watch your bullet drop at long ranges. Your bullet will not go in a straight line. At some ranges, gravity will make the bullet drop. Number five, patch your wounds. When you take a hit, you will bleed out. After a firefight, I hence that again, after a firefight, take time to heal yourself. Or show, also be User sure left to your heal channel. your team, User team members was moved too. Out of your channel. Number six, keep a full mag. User left your channel. After a firefight, Reload so you won't run out of ammo quickly in under in other firefights. Number seven, this mainly goes against for um team leaders and section leaders, but if in doubt, fall back. Do not move towards the enemy. Pop smoke if available and fall back to the nearest safe zone and rethink your strategy of advancement. Question eight. No, not eight. Keep the enemy suppressed. Suppressive fire is key when moving against the enemy enemy is going to stay in the same place and be an easy target but number nine follow orders always do what your section and fire team leader tells you to do unless you want him to keep ranting at you and get a very bad debrief question 10 be aware of confined spaces use cqb weapons only well pretty much we don't have cqb weapons these Rifles that we use as standard User issue joined are your channel. quite sufficient for medium and short User range engagements. User was moved to your channel. Number 11, there ain't no such thing as a fair fight. Kill them any way possible. <laughs> That's it. Follow them and you will survive. Oh, I'm done. What do you get? Crickets. CQB, man. CQB yeah. shit. <laughs> Applause. Ah, oh, CQB, that is specialty. Um, uh, what's this fucking run over? No, it's not. Uh, where's Hailstorm? Right there. Um, hail, give, 
me. Wait. Can't log in. So I didn't, yep. I didn't get to learn about the guns yet until they earn their ranks. All right. We keep we keep that secret stash. Secret stash, Brad. The forces. Yes, it's recon. Well, boys, we know what our mission is when they're away. <laughs> <laughs> Track down it. All right. Let's see. Help me out the cartel. Yeah. <laughs> Jokes your sergeant should sleep. <laughs> uh let's head over to fucking the town. Um Evans, you wanna drive the other car? We'll head down to fucking um sure, just down there. Oh fuck. Um I'll try, I'll try, I'll try. See if this car moves, dude. See nice if this car car moves. Room. Okay. Last time I tried What's up, Matt? Plato. Plato. Yeah, what's up? Is it moving? Is it moving? Yeah, Jesus. Yeah. Yes! L1 is moving very, very fast. I hope they think. User left your channel. Pretty much consistent of four people. Alright, so do I have an order here? No, alright. I'll just I'll grab log ranks. SD and Sam. You four. When clearing buildings, it is vital that the surrounding areas are pretty much clear at all times. When preparing for a building, your team lead or someone will say stack up. And what that means, you get you Get behind me, stick, stick to the wall. Alright? Stack up, like you reload your mag, you do whatever, alright? And then now you will all say set when you're ready. Set. Okay, so set. 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 Now weapons up. Now usually the first set. person will either chuck a flashbang in or he'll breach, alright? And when, when we're breaching, it's very imperative that the person behind me is right on my ass because I will say I'm going left. When I say I'm going left, the other person must go right. When that person goes right, the next person in must take the middle. That next two people should just take the middle, right? And that is effectively clearing a building like that. that that's four people. That's four. I've, I've got like five in here. Well, yeah, I mean, there's yeah, yeah, one. Take them all. Uh, <laughs> take them all, right? That's what she said for me. Look. You'll move around the, the room and you'll say clear. And someone will say stack up on stairs. So pretty much two to three people will stack up on stairs. One person will stay down and keep the bottom level secure at all times. Once you've set, the, the person taking lead, which is Hendo, he'll say, I'm moving. Now when he says I'm moving, he'll say, I'm splitting right. That means that the next person will say, I'm splitting left. And the next two, or the person in line, will say, I'm, I'm hitting the middle. Okay? go. What? Oh, I have a question. Uh, there's only... Because there's only uh, one turn, which is right. Shouldn't you have like one person out, out going behind, out of looking out, behind out, out you, because like the stairwell. Out of the way, man. I, can't, I can't get upstairs. I'll, I'll show you what I mean. When going up the stairs, it'll be like this. Someone get a mask. Like someone's desyncing. Oh, almost crashed. All right, so when it's like this, all right, when it's like this, you automatically split like this. The person taking point 
will go out like this. The person who came in behind me will be in the corner like this. And the, per the next person to come up the stairs will go like this. So pretty much you'll be effectively clearing the building using your own columns. The person taking point, much move all the way over here. The second person, move over here. And the third person will move here. And you'll just blast the shit out of the enemy. Once this area is clear, you'll yell out, room clear. All right? Now one person stairs, and the remaining two, or whoever you got left, will stack up on stairs like this. Now bearing in mind, people who are stacking up must stay on the same side of the building and it's not opposite. You must always stay on the one building and behind them at all times. Stack up on me. One person stay in this building. On this room, sorry. Once you just set, say set. 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 Uh, breaching, splitting left. Set. Splitting right. To the middle. There we go. There we go. Now you get to the later. Middle. Middle. And once that, what do you say? Room clear. Room clear. Copy that. Room clear. Now in this... Oh, ladies hotel. Now in this situation, we have pretty much two, build, two buildings like this. So when we have shit like this, you always need to be watching these stairs at all times. And whoever's taking point will say, alright, we're breaching this building. Um, freaking stack up on me. Or one person stays behind and watches that other stair or watches the other stairs. Alright? Stack up on me, the User remaining two people. disconnected from your channel. Yep. Set. Set? Set. Alright, moving in, splitting left. Splitting right. In the middle. Ah, nice, nice. Middle. Uh, and room clear. Room clear. Clear. Usually, room you just clear. pretty much just chuck up two people up there to secure the roof. Usually, there's no one on the roof, but it's always it pays out just to clear the roof, just in case. But bearing in mind, if you do go on the roof, you will come. You'll come across a compound like this that looks effectively like this. Uh, I'll say stack up. All right. I'll always say stack up. The person who who wants to take point will stack up. Up, right, stack up. What do you all say now? Set. 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 Now I say I'm moving in, splitting left. Splitting right. Hit in middle. Splitting middle. Alright. Now the people are splitting middle, bearing in mind <laughs> this corner here. Do not breach past that corner, stay back here because it's the person's responsibility on the left to get to that corner and check. Now meanwhile that person's on the left, this person on the right here has the job of clearing these two buildings like this, protecting the person on the left and the middle at all times. Once that is secure, the person on the right will say, right, clear. Right, and once clear. that's ready, I'll say, stack up on me. Once Set. that's all done, stack up on me. Set. Set. In a situation like this, two people, the, point, the person take a point, and the person behind him, will split out far right like this, all right? So the person behind me, come out to where I am. You two... Right, stay there, stay there, stay there, Jack, stay there. Two here will come around the corner like this. Person taking point here will clear that building. Endo, he will come over here and watch this door here. He'll be stacking up on this door. Right? Yep. Now, once that is done, this person here that followed the team leader will move over and clear that building. This person at the back here he will be in charge of plugging up of the doors. He'll be watching these doors in the compound just in case Taliban try and counterattack us. And meanwhile, the team leader and two other people here will come over here and be like, stack up. Right, so one person out here watching all the doors and shit. All right, he's all set. 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 Splitting right. Hit in middle. Oh, no middle. All right, see so now it's a little compartment. You split off, the, you pretty much split off a house into sections. You only clear sections at a time. Take it nice and slow because, well, clearing corners can be a bitch. Now, once that's done, now see how there is two doorways? Someone must stay and watch a door at all times, whoever who has not cleared it yet. All right, so this person behind me in the British uniform, which is SD. SD. I get you to take my position and watch that door at all times. Copy. Um, stand back. You have to reload. Alright, let's copy that. Now, Hang on, like, right, that's a good job, Jake. You're watching the door. Alright, now the other two or three will stack up on me. What? Yeah. And we will yeah, clear this like, building, but it'll be. It was like 50,000.
building. Building a building, it'd just be a one big motion. It'd be none of this pausing and stopping crap. Yes, I know. Uh, moving in, splitting left. Yeah. Swing right. Ah, there we go. Yeah, room clear. Okay, once that's done. Room clear. Yes, see, we've got an opening to this door here out onto the street. Someone will have to stay here and plug up this door until the rest of the building is secure. So, Hendo, you stay here and watch that door. And meanwhile, back over here, we have SD mate here watching the door. Now I'll say stack up, moving upstairs. Sir? Uh, left clear, splitting right. Splitting left. Ah, oh, there we go. Yeah, the left hand, no. The left hand here, when you come across something like this, you gotta move up to the corner, move up to the corner, peek around the corner at all times so you protect your right man. get um, Law Racket to take point. So Law Racket will rock up, back up, do that, and everyone stack up on him. Set. 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 Splitting left. Splitting right. Take a move. Take a doorway. Stack up. Hands. Set. 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 Splitting left. Splitting. Uh, split. Oh uh, well, never mind. Splitting mid. Uh, uh, small room. In this sort of situation, when you have real small confined <laughs> spaces, <laughs> don't try and jam everyone in there. Now see how there's a doorway and no one stayed on the doorway. It is imperative someone stays on stays on the door until the room's clear and everyone forms back up. When you have little rooms like this, like this little cluster fuck here. Don't jam everyone in. Armor 3, it'll glitch you out, glitch you through a wall, and you'll pretty much get fucked up. Taliban can throw a grenade, RPG, like with blind fire with an RPK, and it'll mess up your day pretty bad. Alright, so if someone stays here and watches the door, continue one. I'll take door. Continue one. Stuck up. That's that. Put it upstairs. Splitting left. Somebody take downstairs, bro. Yeah, he's got it. Never mind, I'll get it then. Set. Splitting left. Splitting right. Better go, can you decide whether you're watching the door or not? Uh, that, that is actually, um, that's pretty good actually. Communication was good. Now, when you're talking, you're probably broadcasting over your um, fire team net, just in case people can't hear you, but most of the time, you will be able to hear you. Yeah, that, that's pretty good. That's good. Just make sure right. when you're clearing left, stay clear. Left clear. User yeah. was moved right to your channel. channel. If you clear to the room, room clear. this building on, where would you go now, clearing this compound? Where would you go? Small shed. Bearing in mind, this person, you don't stand outside, you don't stand out outside the building because you haven't cleared the rest of this compound. If you go waltzing out that door, this person here, who's sitting right here in this little building, wait for you to come out and just waste you like that. Oh, or you can right. have someone like right here like this, wait for you to come out, and just peek around, just <laughs> you're dead. I forgot we were doing it as if we hadn't cleared it. Um, get in the clear, clearing, this fucker. Assume there's an enemy around every corner. Assume there's an enemy around every corner. So you must check every single corner, no matter what. Alright, just come um, out into the courtyard, guys. Yep. Over here. Alright, so now, um, do this. So we'll pick an entrance. Fuck it, over here. Come over here. So, say we're rocking up, 
probably on foot from here, so you would probably come from this direction. You have your team behind you, or have what formation you're in. You'd see that fucking open thing there. So you'd someone would be either volunteer or the team leader will say, you take blah 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 and clear this courtyard or compound. So you rock out, uh, set. So people rock up on me. Shit, set. Set. Yeah, stack up. Uh, set. Set. Everyone set. That's sweet. So I'll be like, um, well, yeah, right. Going. Uh, yep. So I'll be going uh, clear and right. So clear I'm moving. So you can't behind me. In the right middle. Clear. Left clear. Clear and mid. Clearing, clear and mid. Middle. So whoever's going left would go all the way up to the point where left can no further go without exposing themselves too much. So whoever goes left second would walk up behind the person who's uh, who went left and cover a different position. Uh, so everyone just go into the middle of the courtyard. Just go down the middle. Also, when the, when the team leader and the person behind you come to the door, there has to be a split second between team leader and the person going in because team leader is focused on the left hand side and he needs that person yeah. behind him to be automatically on his right hand side. Like he can't look at right and left at the same time. So it's very, it's very, very important that that person stacking up on him, the second person is always smack bang on that right straight away or on the opposite direction. Or then your team leader will go down right, and right. you'll get wasted. Yeah. All right, so everyone just stand here, looking that way. Um, on what? Me, Evans and Basso. All right. Um, anyway, uh, so come over here. Alright, uh, what way do we go? Right here. Everyone yeah. watch. Alright, uh, so come over here, come over here. So I'll, I'll, I'll take, I'll take. Come in, sweet, so... Alright, yep. Set. Set. I'll just set, set. Alright, clearing left. Left clear. Clearing right. Middle. Right clear. Middle clear. Wait. That's basically what you do with three men. If you have another one, so Sam, come over here. If so you go left, right, middle, left, middle. Oh fuck. So just every second. What did I just say? Uh, uh, in a situation uh, like this, you would you would come middle with me because there's a lot of open ground here. Yeah. There's a shitload of open ground. So where I sat here. You would probably go to my right a bit, or helping the right hand side a bit. Like that, yeah, that's it. Like that. Yeah. But make sure like when that. you turn the air like this, no one's looking the same direction. Yeah, because always. there could be a fuckwit right in here, just chill banging, and he can see over there. So when left moves in, you look up here, but right moves in, you will see him hostile down. Alright, so. When you see a contact, you say contact, shoot him. And once you say that, you say contact down or hostile down or time. User limited, in your whatever. channel, yep. time down. Oh, Sam's going to disconnect. Damn, are you that contact has been eliminated. He just disconnected from Sam's Sam, Sam is just chilling out. User was moved to your channel. That's right. Sweet. Yeah, so just make sure when you're clearing shit, just make sure no one's covering the exact same area because... Or let your yeah, contacts... You open. Say the contact is eliminated, if down, if not, just say unsure, and yeah. Uh, now, so, oh, sh should we act on a man down in a CQB situation? Yeah, sure. Alright, um, alright, we'll get back, so, he'll be the fella going down, alright? I'll grab Sam, and I will grab SD. Uh, Basso, Sam, and SD on me. Alright, so, so we clean this compound, alright? Alright, stack up on me. How you doing, CQD? Sit. Sit. Alright, splitting left. In the middle. Alright, stay in this in distance like this, alright? That's so. Where is he? Say a man goes down, alright? Say he got shot from... Oh, Sam. Say he got shot from over here like this. Say he got shot from over here like this. Now, theoretically... That British person would shoot at me. He would fucking, he he would be designed 
smack that person while me still watches in this direction and while wait who the fuck did I just kill? Sam. Oh Sam, whoops. And while Bapso watches that direction, under no circumstances will you all will you all change your direction to where the enemy was facing. All have your own sectors to cover and it's vital that you do. Alright, so SD you know medical treatment and stuff. Yep. Once a Alright, now a situation like this, you'd form pretty much, you would cover, we would call in a section starlight, which is pretty much hangs with your section leader. You will pretty much hang around, you will cover your sectors at all times, you will pop smoke, and you will cover your sectors, and you will wait for the section starlight, or stabilizing Mr. SD here, or Sam, sorry. That is how you act If need be, you might have to drag him out. Yes. If it gets too hot, drag him out, pop smoke, drag him out. So he's all clear on CQB and what it takes. We'll, we'll have to go through it again later because we'll be here all night fucking talking about it. Yeah. Yeah, I don't have any FB on my phone. Oh. You got drugs, Sevens? Oh, that's a neg. Um, I think I don't have any. <laughs> uh, hey, I'll spell one in. So you, you'll get better at it once you've, um... Oh, you took him... What the fuck? Hey, Andrew. Like, uh, it, bec it becomes yeah. a different when people are shooting back at you. Shit like that. So, yeah. Um... Alright, we'll see me, like, getting out of the vehicle. After Sam's up. That movement, though. <laughs> it just... Flew. Flown, Effie. Alright. Um, have you fully bandaged him yet, or...? Yeah, it's fully bandaged. Uh, uh, oh. Say, for instance, we fast roped into this compound. Right? What would be the first thing you'd do? Uh, sit still, dude. Uh, do you want me to bring this up, uh, Alright, who said 360? Let's do. Congratulations. You'll be I'm doing 360 one straight away. You need two. I've done one. That too. Alright, <laughs> so when, when you fast rope... One? Form a 360, so 360 no, will. Plane, well, you won't have someone like standing Absolutely. here and just looking here like this. You would kind of use common sense. Someone would plug up that door, someone would plug up that gap, that door, and that door. And then you'd have supporting people like this here. And say, like here, and say, for instance, you got a marksman. The marksman would move up to that second story building there and try and get eyes on down the town and shit like that. That is a 360 on a compound. Alright, so just come out to the road, we're getting to the um, hunters. Hello, prisoner. Alright, let me just count. We got one, two. Alright, uh, just everyone. Alright, so it's just, um, so Jake, Sam, you get in this one, everyone else into the other one. Um, Evans, you want to drive it? And yeah, so basically we just drive in the road and we'll stop and dismount. Yeah. You're on 500, correct? Very correct. Yeah. Can't you feel something? Can't you feel something? Yes. Oh, I still on it. No, you're right. Get in the back, dude. Can't you get in the back? Wait a minute, so he's getting the... What? Hold on. Now let's get in his drive. Oh, we'll get the driver then. Just wait until I stop. Just stop. Okay. Just pretend I'm driving. Alright, so let's go, go down the road like 50, 50 metres. Alright, uh, we're fine. Uh, you moving, Evans? Uh, you're not moving. Fucking seriously, dude. I'm not moving. Stop moving, dude. Yeah, you're not moving at all. User left your channel. Ah, uh, we'll just go dismount. Dismount now. So everyone dismount. Oh. Oh, fuck. 
the fuck are they doing? Wait, I'm moving up to you. You just like the leash over there. Um, sure, mate. Oh, here we go. Uh, oh, fuck them. Uh, basically, when we get out, drive a call dismount. Um, depending on what side you get out of, just basically move a couple of meters and just grab a sector. That's, three, that's pretty much a 360 off of that. What? Alright, uh, just drive your shit back up here. Uh, do it again. Do it again. Uh, right. uh, so just put that back up to him, dude. Damn, can't get in? That's right, Swartz. Oh, wait, Evan, you might. You killed old mate, didn't you? No. Oh, shit, oh, yeah. Um, uh, right, nothing's coming up. Oh, just try and get back in the vehicle again. Yeah, everyone just try and get in. stops and your section leader or your team leader orders dismount it's always the automatic 360 but obviously most of the time we'd have like an m ramp with like a 50 on it so the 50 will take a roll on what um on what bearing or direction he faces so you don't want to be facing the same direction as the 50 is so you'll coordinate with your gunner on what direction he's facing yeah the gunner will say yeah, the gunner will say, yeah. Uh, um, everyone just light up in the passenger on the Black Hawk over here. That's right. I'm just going to go fucking down somewhere, we'll drop down, um, when the team leader says dismount, everyone dismount, and get a 360 going, okay? We'll be
northwest. Northwest. Yeah, we had we had too many bunched up here. Yeah, so where you go at, just take note on where other guys are looking. Just look around yourselves. Have a look where they're looking as well. Just to have a quick look, and then just reposition a little bit. But yeah, that's pretty much it. That's good. Yeah, usually the helicopter would take off, so you'd ascertain that 360 all the way until that Black Hawk has taken off and is like 100 meters away from us. Um, sweet. Um, yeah. I think that's it. Yeah, I'll have to do some clearing CQB shit later, more. Probably yeah. whenever. Oh, you um, don't just you get down the um, fucking tactical exercises we do on Wednesday and shit like that. Yeah, yeah. Um, anything else you can think of? Um, cover 360. Uh, covered CQB, covered basics of AGM and TFR. Covered movement yep. as infantry. Yeah, really Should we come down to role discussion of what they think they'd be best suited? Ah, uh, yes, yes. Alright, so just line up. Line formation. Is that everyone? Yeah. That's There's everyone. One. So, so we're just going to call you out on play one and what role you would like to play as. Like, we've opened up the other section, correct? Yeah. 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 Uh, so you have a choice. If you want to go for a team leader role, that's down the track a bit, but you can apply for it and we can give you lessons and we are willing to give you a go. That's for sure. Um, you have an automatic rifleman. Of course, automatic rifleman and marksmen require extra training. Um, we have automatic rifleman and marksman experts that will take you through the requirements of being one of them. So you either got team leader, automatic rifleman, marksman, or a, just a, a standard rifleman. Or if you want to, I think, like, someone can get a four. Nah. Box hand's closed, though. Just two people at the moment. For now. Alright. So, yeah, those are your options. Um, yep, so basically, for now, be part of the section. You can go ADF or BAF. You'll be chucked into the AD with the ADF guys. The BAF will be chucked into the BAF. Um, obviously, slightly different equipment setting. Um, yeah, pretty much. That's about it. Uh, yeah, yep, so think about it for a while. Um, yep. Messages, whatever. Give you your tags for that role, Usually, whatnot. Um, message Hailstorm. He'll put you in on the company roster. Uh, yeah. What? Um, on what role you want? And yeah, we'll roll from there. So, um, Wait, congratulations, uh, Air Recruits. Thank you. Thank you. So yeah, just Thanks. let us know within the next few days, um, or maybe tonight or tomorrow yeah. day sometime, so we can check you in somewhere. And yeah, because Wednesday is official training, op is a training night for everyone. Um, yeah. Uh, as you know, yeah. like Wednesdays and Sundays are the the nights to be with us. It's just so it'd be yeah. for your, it'd be, it'd be for your, ben it'd be beneficial for you as well. It's just the requirements. Uh, yeah. So, um, yeah. That's about it. Um, yeah. We'll check tags on. Any questions or anything, just yeah. ask, messages, whatever. Don't um, get to check your tags on. Like, I'll, we'll do the server group stuff on TeamSpeak. Yeah, we'll, we'll give them the, their role first. Oh yeah, right. then I, I have something to say. Watch this oh, video okay. on YouTube. Watch yourself. Um, so yeah, thanks for coming, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet. Congratulations. It, thanks for taking the time. It'd be extremely beneficial yeah. for you, as you as you will find out. Yeah, all this crap we just told you, like the CQB shit, it'll come easy for you later. It just takes time, really. Yeah. Yeah, you'll be good. No, for don't, don't, don't fucking do it. It's off. I have a question. Uh, um, Can I fly that helicopter? Uh, <laughs> yeah, sure. Uh, just a sec. Um, yeah. Uh, who's that? Uh, so, with your standard rifleman kit and everything, you can change a few things if you want. MVGs, you have to keep them. Um, 
your scope you can change. You can change your um, sidearm as long as it's like a fucking revolver or something stupid like that. Um, no suppressors, but basically what you've got on you now, don't remove anything. Can't change it. Um, unless it's a handgun or some shit. Uh, medical system is just eight bandages for a standard person unless you're starlight. Um, but yeah. Oh, what's that? What's that? Oh, is that DJ? Oh, the H-bar. Step fire. Um... No, I don't think that's... I don't think so. No. No, that's, that's something else. It's... Um... Dismissed, I guess, yeah. yeah. If you, like, yeah. ASAP, you give us, like, your role, like, either today or tonight or tomorrow during the day, that'd be thanks a million. User joined your channel. And, yeah. All right. Attendo gone. Um, wait, let me uh, go. Where the hell we just took him through. Talking through CQB stuff, um, <laughs> deforming <laughs> three sixties off one There's a new guy, Lewis. New guy or new guys? Oh, oh really? Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> Dave. 